Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm here at the beach this morning in this really boring day. Uh, the sky is really boring and not interesting, kind of hazy, an hazy morning. It's almost summer, so you would expect a little bit of haze, but today is uh, kind of super hazy. So, I don't know, I just came out down to the beach because um, I want to try and take a couple of shots with my Rolleiflex because I did get I did get a new filter I did get a 5-stop uh, ND filter to add to my 10-stop that I had already so I can get 15 stops um, of NDs which means I can shoot long exposures uh, basically in strong daylight which I couldn't do before which is good for me because it, it means I don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. Uh, when the light is good enough only for 10 stops so I want to try and take some super long exposures with my Rolleiflex uh, I think the real challenge here is going to be uh, trying to find something interesting to shoot because there's really nothing as you can see let's have a walk and see what we can find So I think I found my first composition here. Uh, it's a really simple one. It's just a little bit of sky, a little bit of water and some sand, as usual. As you know, I like to take these kind of pictures. Uh, it's really minimal. Uh, and I think it, it's fine because the sky is not interesting, but it's some kind of haze, uh, which in black and white could look uh, actually pretty good. So I did just frame uh, the shot with my camera. I have my filters on, it's 15 stops, so I need to calculate my exposures. And uh, first of all, I'm going to calculate the exposure without the filter. And right now I'm at uh, F11, and of course I'm using 100 as a film. So I'm going to use my app, my pocket light meter app to see what it tells me. So F11, if I look at the sky, it tells me one over 800 of a second. On the sea, it gives me one over 640 of a second. And on the sand, one over 500. So I think something in the middle, one over 640 of a second. Uh, it's probably the best guess for this exposure. And then I need to calculate uh, the exposure with the filters on. And uh, when, you, when you try and take long exposures, especially uh, really long exposures on film, you have to take something called re reciprocity into consideration. And reciprocity, it's kind of an odd uh, concept. And I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm able to explain it to you very simply. So I'm going to put a link to a video that I think explains it better. But basically, uh, put it simple is, um, your film gets less sensitive to light the more you expose it. So uh, if you're doing short exposures, it works fine. And the longer you take an exposure to maybe minutes or uh, even uh, hours, you have to um, kind of counterbalance the, the film getting less sensitive to light. So uh, there are formulas to calculate how to do that, and they're kind of complicated. Uh, so I found, uh, I found there are apps on, for your phone that works, but they're all paid apps, so I didn't try them yet. 
but I did find this one website uh, from this photographer from France called uh, Dennis Oliver. Uh, hopefully that's how you pronounce his name. So sorry if it's not the right way, Dennis. I'm going to put a link to, this, to his website uh, in the description. So basically, he has this page on his site where you can uh, put your film uh, and all your data, your shutter speed, um, your f-stop, DNDs that you're using, and it gives you the proper exposure time uh, considering reciprocity as well. So it's really, really easy to use. So I just put all my data here. I have my Acros 100. Uh, it doesn't have a 1 over 640 of a second, so I'm going to use um, 1 over 500 of a second. F11, 15 stops. It tells me that the speed will be 1 minute and 6 seconds. I'm going to double check that everything is fine in the frame and there's nothing obstructing the view. And then I'm going to fire up my timer here. One minute and six seconds. And then I'm going to take the shot. And hopefully it's going to be good. There you go. Really simple, but of course we don't know how this is going to look until we develop the film. Right, so first shot in the bag. Uh, I'm walking along the beach now to try and see if I can find something a little bit more interesting. Uh, I know there is a jetty all the way down the beach, so that's where I'm gonna go. And uh, hopefully it's gonna look good with this weather. And hopefully there's gonna be no one on it because there's always like kids playing on it and everything. So. I don't know, uh, let's have a look. Right, so it looks like we do have a nice shot here. I'm checking it right now. Uh, it's kind of minimal and high key. Uh, it's this uh, coastline with the waves and then you can see uh, the rest of the coast back there. Uh, in the background, kind of faded with all these A's. So it looks really nice here on my on my screen. Let's see how that translates. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit down to F16 with this one. And then I'm going to try and calculate the exposure. We should be around uh, 1 over 400 of a second, more or less. So let's try to put that into the calculator from Dennis' website. And it should be something around 3 minutes. It says 3 minutes 17 seconds. But I think something like 3 minutes should be, should be good enough. That should be okay. Then I'm going to fire up my timer. Put it down to three minutes. Uh, let's do a three minute exposure. And then let's try and fire it up. Hopefully it's gonna be good. Overall, a really nice morning today. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should come out because the sky wasn't interesting. Uh, you know, I had this other stuff to do. And it's a holiday, so there's, there's lots of people around. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely worth it to come out, um, have a look here at the beach, uh, take a couple of shots. I even met a really nice guy on the way. So yeah, it's always worth it to go out, even if you're not sure. So I'm here, it's not the jetty that I had in mind. 
but there is this kind of structure here uh, that it looks kind of interesting. Uh, the water is not tremendously interesting though, so I don't know. I try to compose the shot, uh, frame it a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work, but I think I, I came all the way here, so I'm just going to try and shoot it. I just exposed uh, for the scene, and it's basically, we're in the same ballpark as last time, so something around three minutes. So I'm going to wait for, there's lots of people around, so I'm going to wait for the people to, to move. And then I'm going to give it a shot before it's too bright to do anything else. I don't know. It might be good, it might be not, but it's worth a try. So hopefully that image turned out well. I have no idea, of course. But uh, if it did turn out well, you already saw it. So you let me know in the comments. Uh, there's lots of people coming around now. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. Uh, I think overall it was pretty good. A couple of images, a nice walk. I met some interesting people. So all in all, a really fun morning. To be out and about. I'm gonna walk back to my bike and uh, I think I'm gonna finish the video here. So uh, as always thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, if you're into uh, film and digital long exposure photography, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, share these videos with your friends. That really helps. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.